Hello friends, welcome back to our channel UiPath Bots. In this video, we are going to learn about type into activity. So, in our previous video, we have seen uh, uh, click activity, right? So, the properties of click activity and how to use click activity. Now, we are going to learn about type into activity. Okay. So, we have a uh, uh, few common properties in type activity like uh, delay and all. But delay, timeout. But main properties of this type into is like click before typing then empty delay between characters characters or keys we can say like delay between the keys okay so ju just it, it is easy to remember type into activity when we are trying to type some data into a field into um, an UI element we will be using this type into activity so when we are typing something into a blank empty field we need to activate that field right first of all say suppose for example this is the field let me take this one so i'm going to type something on on us check on us check before i type into this i'm supposed to activate this right activate this field so this property is an important one next next one is click before typing so before i type i cannot type directly right i have to click so that the cursor goes to that position where i want to enter some data so i am going to click here then only i can enter something right next empty empty the field so before we uh, add some data into the field you are supposed to empty the field and then delay between keys so when i am typing some uh, data into this there should be some delay between each key right each character so it, it is less than one second only but what what should be the delay between the keys okay these are the main properties of type into activity now let's move on to the studio how to use this so I think you are all aware of this WI uh, application uh, which is provided by UiPath. So uh, if you are not aware of this, I can give you the downloadable link from Academy, UiPath Academy. Okay, this is for learning purpose and most of our videos and uh, most of our practice sessions, learning sessions depends on this UiPath WI application. Okay, just for learning purpose. So now let us go for type into activity just type type into okay we will you can see multiple uh, type into's here this cv type into just forget about this for now we'll talk about this later okay it will be under ui automation application type into on mouse over you can see this enters text in a specified ui element for example a text box it is in in ui path ui automation activities package okay so just drag and drop to your sequence okay now you could see some error message okay this activity must be inside a use application or browser activity always all the input activities say for example click type into and keyboard shortcuts all these kind of input activities should be inside a container container in the sense one more one more activity so we we need to provide a container for these activities what is that 
it is use application use application or browser or attach browser attach an application if it is in lower uh, versions of uipath studio but i am showing this in a uh, latest version so it is use application or browser so now let us drag and drop into this see if you see this that error gone now use application browser what it will do is opens a desktop application or a web browser page to use in your automation so this is a container to which all the input activities will be tagged into it. so now i am going to indicate the application this is my application where i am going to automate okay so i have given so i have given a uh, application here now if you see here it is automatically tagged to this application it is, it is asking indicate in app wi right since it is inside the container this activity automatically tagged to the application now now let us come to type into activity how to use this type into just simply type type into and drag and drop to your place okay next i am supposed to type into this particular field right so i have selected this i'm just clicking this so it will automatically uh, take one anchor so once you confirm it it will take the screenshot of this element okay so the selector has been saved confirmed okay so this way we can use the type into activity now i am going to type some data into this field right so here type this text must be quoted so i am going to use some value right and then let me save this now let us see how it runs run the file So it has executed right now let us come to our properties activate click before typing empty field delay between keys how to use this if you see here activate it is true right there are multiple options true or false okay so true or false or bring the ui element to the foreground and activate it before entering the text okay so this is where we can give the proper value needed value based on your need click before typing so whether it is a single click or double click right next delay between the keys delay in seconds between consecutive keystrokes the maximum value is one second only okay so I am going to give one second right now empty field I am going to empty the single line or multiple line right I just give single line for now I will show you how to use the multiple lines as well now let us run this file again you could see a uh, wi it is already it has some already a value so it has emptied the field before it start typing right if you see it, it i think you noticed the difference i'll give some some other value okay let me save this now if you see in wi there is some value it is supposed to be empty and also we have given some one one second time gap between the keys so it will run slowly it will it will type slowly let me run it again observe it carefully now it is removing two three two three two yes now it is typing some alphabet where is it something went wrong let me give 
let me give a number okay so just save it run file I think this field will not accept the characters only numeric characters will be acceptable like this let us see right so you could observe the time gap between the each keystroke right some one second okay so this way we can use all these uh, properties now let us use this double multi line so if there are multiple lines in your uh, so suppose this is my I'll take, I'll just change this, I'll change this separate application, okay. Now my application is the notepad, now I'm supposed to change, okay, uh, let's take this and no anchor, let me take the anchor and then confirm so notepad is my target now okay notepad is my target application and um, the body of the notepad is my uh, target where i'm going to type something so before i type this particular uh, two three two five three five four six some number i'm going to empty multiple lines okay then i'll be using some one second between each key okay now uh, and also double click so now let's see how it works it should empty a exactly so it has erased all the uh, characters what are present here and it is taking some one second of time between each so multiple lines been deleted right i think uh, you got a clear understanding on the usage of type into and the and also delay after delay before these are the common ones which we already discussed and verify execution uh, we have some other uh, video which we already discussed about verify execution option so if you want to know uh, in detail about this you can use that video I hope this is a useful video for you and uh, this is going to be a definite uh, interview question if you are a UiPath developer. So please do subscribe our channel and share with your friends and colleagues too and uh, don't forget to click on the bell icon. Please do not miss our upcoming videos. Thank you so much for your valuable support to this channel. Take care. Bye bye.